This video covers the steps to enter data into the SWIMS database. A State of Wisconsin user ID is required to access the database. If you've not yet registered for a user ID, please see our video on how to create one. The first step to enter lake monitoring data is to log into the SWIMS database. Enter your username and password. Be sure to click the External Users and Volunteers box and then click Log In. If you don't click the External Users box, you'll get an error message. This is the home page within the SWIMS database. Click on the Submit Data heading at the top of the page and then click Submit Data again. This will bring you to the Create Monitoring Data page. If you only have one project, it should automatically show up in the project box. If you have multiple projects, click the drop down arrow on the right side of the box to see a list of all the projects that you're associated with. The data collector box should automatically have your name in it, and the station should also show up according to the project you selected. Enter the start date of your monitoring event and the start time. The form box should automatically choose the right form for the selected project. If it doesn't, you can click the Find Form button and then enter a form number in the Form Number box to search for the correct form. These are the most common forms used by Citizen Lake Monitoring Network volunteers, along with the form numbers that you can type in to search for them. If you need to search for a form, click the black arrow to the left of the form name to select that form and return to your data entry page. The form name should now show in the form box. If you have any questions or problems finding a form, please contact your local Citizen Lake Monitoring Network coordinator or email dnrswims at wisconsin.gov for help. Enter the end date and time. In the field work comment box at the bottom, type in any notes or observations you made while monitoring your lake. This could be related to recent weather events, boat traffic, or other things that may have impacted the results of your monitoring, or may include other people that were with you. Now scroll back up to the top and click the Next button. This is where you'll enter the results of your monitoring. We'll use the Water Clarity and Temperature form here for demonstration. You can refer to the SWIMS user guide posted on the Citizen Lake Monitoring Network website to see examples of various forms. Be sure to choose an appropriate measurement unit for any fields that contain a drop-down box for units. If there's anything that you did not monitor, please leave it blank. Do not enter zero or anything else. A value of zero implies that you did monitor for that parameter and the result was zero. The user perception field refers to your perception of the lake's water quality that day, especially thinking about the amount of algae in the water. Choose a rating between one and five. If you're collecting dissolved oxygen data with an electronic meter, the last line is where you can enter whether you calibrated the meter on the day that you took your readings. At the bottom of the screen, you can click Save to save your data and stay on the same page, Save and Return to complete the data entry process and return to see your recently entered data, or click Save and Enter TempDO profile to continue entering temperature and dissolved oxygen data. On this screen, there will be 10 rows to start with. If you need additional rows, just click the blue plus button on the right side to add more rows. Make sure you select the correct measurement units for each column. Enter your depth, temperature, and dissolved oxygen measurements in each of the columns. If you did not collect dissolved oxygen measurements, just leave that column blank. Then click Save and Return and you're all done. You can now log off by clicking the white arrow in the upper right part of your screen. If you have any questions about the SWIMS database, please contact your local Citizen Lake Monitoring Network coordinator or email dnrswims at wisconsin.gov. Thank you for monitoring your lake as part of the Wisconsin Citizen Lake Monitoring Network.